folks, today here at the range, we have a 1940 K98 Mauser. As far as I can tell from the tracking down the manufacturing code, this is a Orma Ironworks build. And it's almost an entirely 1940, except for the trigger guard, which is pressed or stamped metal. And at some point in time, it's got a, a re-arsenaled. Now, I've yet to actually ever find any ammo for this around here as far as uh, factory made. So, we're putting my own hand loads to it. So, that may or may not affect the capabilities of the rifle. But we're going to see what we can do today. And because of the availability of ammo, I have yet to really put a lot of rounds to this. So... Basically, I'm trying to cover for any kind of a core grouping I might get. <laughs> well, let's see what we shall see. And we're at 100 yards. So something in the sights. Looks like it might have been shooting a bit to the left. I'll put another five rounds to it. And we'll take the walk and see what happens. That was the last time I had this out here, sure, shooting to the left. But you see the thing with me in military surplus, me being a left-hander. It seems like every all the military firearms I get to be the predominantly right-handed people who probably were shooting these before me, that I would up to the left to where I'm aiming. If any of you other left handies out there had that same experience, love to know. So we're gonna put a touch right hold on it and see what happens. But the barley corn sight doing a touch of a right hold it's interesting to try and do. Once even went a little high. But, take it down there, let you see how she did. You 
you know, like I previously said, those are complete hand loads. I actually had to buy the bullets and the cases separately, build the whole things from scratch. Those are 198 grain. I'm oh, sorry, 195 grain. Hornet days sitting in Lapua brass with CCI primers. Yeah, yeah, IMR 4064 powder. It's not quite a full charge because if you've ever shot one of those, puts a little debt in your shoulder. <laughs> Okay, here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm thinking these first five were my first ones because I was doing a bullseye hold directly on the bullseye as best I could. And these ones are my second group of five. And I was trying to hold over here. And so I may have thrown myself off a bit. So we go off by the first ones. It looks like I definitely need to adjust my sight some more. That's actually not a bad group. Just about six inches or so to the left. Well, folks, hope you have a good day.